Salutations everyone, I'm the Ruby Yoshi and welcome back to Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony. When we last left off, Angie destroyed the one thing that will help us remember. Everyone is starting to get angry and mad that they're putting more restrictions in the area. And I think I'm close to, um... I think I'm close to, uh, finishing, uh, Muse, um, friendship thing. So I want to finish Muse thing. And we're going to do, who else we're going to do? Like, whose friendship fragment have I been doing well with? And hopefully won't die? <laughs> uh, we'll see. Well, we can do Kaito. I can do Kaito, I can do Kokichi. It'd be silly, but I wanted to do Kivo. Because Kivo, I want to do. And Maki, too. <laughs> if she would let me. I might do Sunugi. It's gonna be hard to see who I'm gonna do after Mew. Like, who's gonna be the big one? Like, Smoogie seems cool, I would do that, but Kibo I wanna do as well. Maki I wanna learn more as well, because... Hopefully she will be, uh... Hopefully she... Is, will be okay to hang out with. But who knows? I'll do Mew, and then... That'll be it. But... I think someone's at the door, right? <laughs> All right, so <laughs> let's see what we have to do right now. I don't know how far are we until we do investigating. Alright, it's been a while. There we go. Well, Kaito's there and Zanugi's there, but we're gonna go to Mew first. Because I think we're close to finishing her, um... ...thing. Let's just fast travel there, save some time, save some energy with a big ass Xbox. That looks like an Xbox. Hey, Mew. <laughs> this computer is pretty awesome. It is. No matter what I do, it always responds very sensitively. Should I hang up you? Yes. I think we're close to getting her panties, I think, and I'm good. What was that? Huh? Fuck that. I get way more out of spending time with this computer than with you. It'd be useful to bring me some food I need since this morning. I brought me some food and got to spend time with her as a reward. <laughs> Sorry. As a reward. <laughs> I somehow go grind for a little bit more. Yeah. Yep, definitely give her a gift. So, I forgot what she likes, because I haven't been playing for a while. <gasps> I actually bought the game, finally. Okay, Mew, what do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? What are we gonna give her? <laughs> Should we give her more tentacle machines? <laughs> I mean, come on, we're four. Uh, if we have it. <laughs> I got one more tentacle machine for you, view. Oh, let's see if she likes it. What? How do you know I've wanted this? Um, 
Don't tell me you're that into me. <laughs> Still thinking about Mew's confession, only I, mean, I couldn't come up with a plan. Hey Yuichi, why the sad miserable face? I guess I was the only one worried about that. Since you look so bummed out, I got you a present. Is it another invention? <laughs> what a crazy idea, I almost feel sorry for you. Out of my way. I, Mew Irima, will show you just how versatile I really am. So here, take this. Is this a pie? Sure. Yep, it's an apple pie. I baked it from scratch myself. I didn't think she would bring me pie. Neither did I. Another surprise from the inventor herself. I mean, is cooking close to inventing? I guess. <laughs> hmm. That's just huh. That's so odd. Huh. Oh sure, I forgot to tweet this. I'm streaming Hold on. Is it telling me autofill? Autofill. There we go. Streaming, nothing should be slow right now. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. Now it looks really professional, you must be a pretty good cook. Well, I'm just not realizing you gotta check that pie first, eat it, and taste it to see if it's actually pretty good. Impressed, I inspected the pie. That's when I found. Is that hair? Oh no! <laughs> Mew became Meg from Family Guy. You like the pie, Brian? It's made with my hair. What? I put I put my hair in it, Brian. <laughs> Now we can be closer together. <laughs> Mew became... 
you. Uh, if you want to learn how to romance a guy, don't take tips from Family Guy. <laughs> Don't worry, I added some hidden ingredients. Don't worry, I'm gonna weep out hair my food! Please forgive me. But I just want the first time I like to eat. Well, Mew, if you wanted that. Find a hotel room. With me and you. I could probably do that. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to be metaphorically. I can literally go and eat you out. <laughs> it's it's simple. <laughs> I love this character so much. <laughs> I love her. I made more too. Cookies with my fingernails, chocolates with my boy. Oh, you mean literally eat you. Like, actually cannibalistically eat you, right? I thought you meant just go down on you. <laughs> well, at the very least, it means that confession was genuine. But she's, uh, coming a little strong. Uh oh, she's staring at me. She wants me to eat it. Dude, just eat the pie. I think the fingernails and blood is terrible. The hair is nothing. <laughs> uh, um, I'm really honored that you made this for me. But I'm concerned about the hygiene. Oh yeah, doesn't she not... Usually bathe, if I'm remembering correctly. <laughs> like, she took the power route. <laughs> and there are no hospitals around here, so we have to be careful. <laughs> yeah, a lot of balls to lecture me. But you know, even a genius like me should be more careful with the stuff I make. Um. If everything happened to you, I might go crazy. If that happened, the world will never recover, right? Isn't that right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll just have to make you something else. You could go Harley Quinn route. Put yourself in a pie. Become my pudding. <laughs> I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But she is legal aid, okay? <laughs> Right. <laughs> the time has finally come to use this. You whipped out the ray gun from earlier. Oh shit. Out of my way. Time to go commando. Oh shit. <laughs> she took aim and then a piece of fabric suddenly materialized in my hand. I remember correctly. I think I know what this is. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that, CG? Can you feel my residual? <laughs> Heat? Why is it wet? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes, I can! Listen up. You get it now? You've earned the right to date huh? me. I've what? When we get out of here, you're going on a date with me, got it? It's already decided. <laughs> it is? The doy, if you go on a date with me, I'll just explode of excitement. I think you already did on your panties. <laughs> if you turn me down, the world will never recover, understand? This is how Mew expresses her feelings, I see. Okay. Isn't it weird I wish girls did this <laughs> to me? If they want to express their feelings to me, I mean, it, already a girl expressing her feelings to me is enough. But like... Mew takes it to a level i never seen anyone do. And I only had one person confess their love to me. 
one. Twice. One was genuine, one was just to get my money. <laughs> it's a date. You promise. Better not forget. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me smiled, but I returned it with something more akin to a grimace. At the same time, she is showing real love and affection. I am happy that I was able to make this kind of connection with you. A little, uh... No, I'm very nervous about this, but still. I'm sure it'll go... I'm sure it'll be okay. We'll get out of here together. Your friendship has deepened. Bond. True bond. Finally got a... Achievement there. Nice. News report card has been updated based on the experience of her. You've learned a new skill. Triple X-ray goggles. I spent... I then spent a little time listening to these delusional date ideas. And here they are. <laughs> oh my lord. I wonder if I can... Go and uh, try and get other people's underwear as well. <laughs> I think we'll mainly do Sumugi and Kibo, and then if you are- no, Maki as well. You know... Hopefully, I don't know if she will, but let's do Maki. I know when I said I was going to do Sumugi, but... I kind of want to do Maki, and I think I probably said on the last stream... I was gonna do Kibo, but you know what? Let's see how Maki's doing. <laughs> hey, I gotta know. And I also gotta know if I'm actually streaming. <laughs> yeah, I am. Should have read the stream first before I even did this. <laughs> That's the worst thing. I should have done that. Idiot. Hi, are you working? Oh, hey, you're working fine. Hey, I see you got the CD loaded. <laughs> I was gonna get that reference up to the fun house. Um. Old funhouse, not new funhouse. <laughs> oh, there she is. Maki! Hey, what's up? Hey. Is Kaito alright? He complains about others, but he can't even take care of himself. Irresponsible idiot. Yeah, let's- oh yeah, Kaito's not happy with what ING did. Yeah, sure. Is that so? I was about to go on a walk. You can tag along if you want. Alright. Ah, I gotta check if I have anything Maki. I should have checked. Shit. Maki, Maki, Maki. Boba tea, beret, travel journal, hand mirror, three hit KO sandbag, jelly balls, space egg, home planet, fully automated shaved ice machine. Okay. I spent time strolling around the courtyard of Maki. Why can't I go a little closer today? Would you like to get a present? Of course. Well, I have the police. Boba! I have Boba. Is Boba really gonna be high enough? I have to think of something bigger than just Boba. Like, you can give anyone Boba. Maybe the travel journal, maybe the hand mirror, if we have a hand mirror. Do we 
have a travel journal? There's a two lines of hand. Hand mirror. Okay. Get rid of that. Or is there anything higher? Uh, I might go silent for a bit in case it gets higher in the world, but you know. <coughs> Jeez, I'm freezing a lot. Do we have anything? I didn't think of sand that. Maybe I'll do the mirror. This whole planet, I don't know. Fully automated shaped ice machine. Oh. Look at that. Is this this satisfied? Oh. Let me get out of here. I'll give it to the kids. That's why you gave it to me, right? Um Oh yeah, because we thought she was the ultimate a sad ultimate child uh, caregiver. Yeah, that's why. Uh, I do love this game, this app didn't spoil it, but yeah, she's the ultimate assassin, actually. <clears throat> hey, Maki, you're an assassin, correct? What is it? I already said that several times. Detectives really are more skeptical than necessary. Well, well, that's part of my job. Anyway, I was wondering how. You did your work. I never heard of the assassins working together, but she couldn't be working alone. When an assassination organizations disband after they become known, You're right. that is true. So what? If you want to know my job, then I don't mind talking about it. It won't be a problem. Lucky's voice was confident. She swiftly averted her gaze. Have you heard of the Holy Salvation Society? No. No, that's the first I've heard of it. Oh, yeah. Of course. A normal person would have no affiliation to any cult. Hmm. A cult? What does this have to do with your assassinations, though? I see. That's the assassination organization I belong to. You belong to a cult? Well, this is shocking. You are a detective. Even though you are a detective, you are pretty slow. It's a new cult. From behind the scenes, it trains assassins. What? That sounds made up. Sounds like a movie. In the 80s. And it would have probably starred Jean-Claude Van Damme. It's real. The founder is the boss of the organization, and all staff are part of it. Clients ask for a consult consultation, and the fee is a donation. That's how it's set up. Letters believers don't matter. They're there for the founder. I'm not sure of the details. So it's a front. The cult's a front, then. Right? I can't believe it. A cult like that exists in our country? Mm. No, that's fine. They disguise it so those things are revealed to the public. I don't know, I feel like cults would be taken down, wouldn't they? But who am I kidding? No one takes down cults. Unless you are killing people and doing some fucked up shit. Yeah, but... Mm. Like, this one Japanese cult I remember that was very popular, of one guy who made it, I think no one knew it was a cult, but there has been rumors and speculation that this man was killing people that didn't fall in line. And then they got out, and they were like, hey, you, you let these people die. And since the death penalty is uh, a thing in Japan, 
if you commit the act of murder, you get the electric chair. So... Don't do anything fucked up in Japan. Matter of fact, don't get framed in Japan. Because... You're not gonna see the light of day again. Or anything. When you hear about a cult, it makes you want to stay away, right? Well, well yes, it does give off that impression. Well, Being shady like that is just a cover-up for illegal things like assassinations. Yeah, that's true. A lot of stuff is a front to keep people away from things. Like, you just make the most mundane thing. That is clearly a front, but you know no one's gonna go in it. Like, people be like, oh, we wanna go in there? No. Or like, you go to a restaurant where the food is purposely bad on purpose, or maybe it is good and people like that place because it actually serves good food. But you would not know that assassins work there, so... That's something that could work. <laughs> As a society, the cult is pretty normal, and it hasn't caused any trouble either. <laughs> the boss and the staff actually don't believe in their god. Really? So it is fully a front, yet the people believe in this cult. Oh god, what if it's the same cult that Angie's in? And then she was fed lies about Atua. <gasps> Could you imagine? Okay, the Boston's- yeah, wow, they didn't believe in their own god. Jeez. But they haven't been punished for their sins. God really doesn't exist in this world. Well... Their punishment will come. It's a little thing called karma's a bitch. Believe me, it'll come. Her tone was neither demeaning nor cold. She sounded as if she just accepted that's the way things are. And I assume you are a devotee in this cult. Of course not. It may seem that way since I'm affiliated with a cult, but... Wait, can't you figure that out without thinking? Are you sure you are a detective? Well, I'm not a fucking mind reader! <laughs> but then again, yeah, you're just... But then again, anyone can put two and two together that you're clearly not a believer of the fucking cult. You just are there to do assassin work. 
Yes, Yurichi, you're bad at this. <laughs> Next year, I suppose she came not Well, there are several assassins besides me, but no one is a uh, is devote. Is devote. We don't really get along with each other. Anyway, anyway, so I wouldn't know. Only oh, you're assassins. You're either there. You're just there to do a job. To do a hit. That's it. You're not there to make friends. You're just there to get money, and that's it. That's. So you don't share that kind of information with each other. Of course not. Yeah. Well, obviously. What if you get contracted, huh? When the time comes, a sad will be cut and disposed of. Your tone hadn't changed. He just accepted it. Why did I say it? Why did I say to put her into this in mind? You asked her about her assassination. That's why. A little bit dazed by Amaki's incredible stories, I return to my room. Besides, oh, yeah, <laughs> I forgot you're still depressed, man. <laughs> Depressed. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I suppose it's nighttime. Yeah, we just established a curfew at night times. I wonder what will happen to training. I'd like you someone about to knock on the door. That's true. I should go see what Kaido has to say about this. I'm worried about him. Yeah, we should probably look after him and see what's going on. I should have hanged out with him. I forgot that he was feeling this way. Where's this room? Where's this room? There it is. Maki. Is she mad? Uh, okay. Oh, hey, bro. Perfect timing. I gotta apologize to you, too. Well, he told me he was going to skip today's training, too. I knew it. So, he still doesn't feel well. My bad. It's pathetic, but. I haven't been able to eat or sleep much since yesterday. I think it'll get better if I just rest a little longer, you know? Okay. Yeah. Sure, Kaito. Do what you have to do. Nah. We'd have to reschedule our training sessions either way. Come to think of it. Student council said being out after night time is prohibited, right? Huh? Well... I told you. If you're feeling sick, that's one thing, but I don't want you to change the chaining schedule. Schedule. I said schedule. Sorry. I will freaking andor in the way to pronounce schedule. Who says schedule? Besides... Peter McNichol from uh, Dr Dracula Dead and Loving It. Even that guy was like, sexual? <laughs> Do 
you don't need to do that. I see. Really? But I don't want to skip it. So it'll just be the two of us training today. Huh? What? Really? Wow. Character's training really did help people. I guess the man is smarter than I expected. Hopefully this dude becomes an astronaut. <laughs> what do you mean? You don't want to? Die? Sorry. Oh, sorry. That's an old habit. Just pretend you didn't hear that. I didn't know such a habit existed. <laughs> yeah, you know, just like, um... What's her name from, uh, My Neighbor Totoro? You wanna die, May? I probably made the joke already. <laughs> well... Anyway, I don't wanna give up now. I finally started to think about how I can confront it. Okay. So if I have to trim alone, so be it. Fuck. Uh, um. Maybe it's just because you're not feeling well. But this is really unlike you, Kaito. Never imagined that you would obey Angie. I thought you did whatever you wanted. Yeah, man, you got the balls to do that shit. I thought you were just an idiot, and then I accused you of being a killer, like a dumbass, but... Dude... What happened to that vigor, that determination that you had? You're kind of like an inspiration, man. I started squatting again. Like, you know how Zack from uh, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, he would do his squats constantly in that game? Like, I've been doing that more recently, like, kind of like, it's sort of my pseudo, kind of small exercise. It's not like a big exercise, like I'm running or anything. I mean, yeah, I've been walking uh, my sister's dog for, a, for like, a week straight one time. To help the dog get, to help him get out there since, because, you know... My father's dog and my sister's dog are separate now because, and they seem depressed because they, um, you know, they don't have a friend to talk to or hang out with anymore, so I'm trying to give my sister's dog at least, like, someone to, like, hang out with, so usually walking them around the neighborhood is a good way to get him happy, excited, and getting a lot of exercise, as well as me, as well, so... I can honestly thank Kaito for making me think, you gotta do this every day. Get determined, get going. I mean, I haven't done it lately since I've been here... in my parents' house, because I had to help my mother with her... project, but like... So far, I still haven't skipped the, um, squatting Zack-style exercises <laughs> lately. So yeah, Kaito, kind of an inspiration. <laughs> uh. My bad. Suichi, I'm sorry, but... Can I leave the training to you until I'm feeling better? Okay. Of course, Kaido. I nodded firmly, then chased after Maki and headed to the courtyard. Hey! Maki, I'm not Kaito. You shouldn't worry about it. He's just feeling a little weak because he's sick. I'm sure he's not. My 
body stiffened on the impulse. Monkey's eyes and the entire aura surrounding her had completely changed. Her glare was blazing hot yet icy cold at the same time. Her very essence was that of ice and fire. Uh, um... Maki? But her glare wasn't aimed at me. It was right past me. Uh. Oh, hi, Tango. Such intense hostility. So this is your power. A normal person would have passed out just from that glare. Huh? Tango? Oh, yeah, that's right. She's part of the council. Yeah, so she's gonna tell us, get back into your room. I... You... Probably want me to leave, right? But I won't run away. Well, I'm not here to fight you. And I don't think you're here to enforce the curfew. Huh? What? That's right, That's right Maki. I'm not here as a student council member. Wait, really? Tenko. Hates men, Tenko. Who loves... Um, Himiko, Tenko. But weren't you... Into a tour? Like you finally succumbed and got into it? Or is it a front because you worry about Himiko? Okay, let's see what she has to say. I'm here to ask you a favor. Oh shit. A personal favor. Uh, um... A favor? From us? Hey. I don't think she's with the student council. She doesn't sound brainwashed. No, because Himiko's an idiot. Hibo, somehow he got possessed into thinking that. And Samugi is Samugi. Like, that's all I can say. I don't think she's with the same. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm not brainwashed at all. What? Hold up. Let's talk to her. Hey! What are you talking about? I thought you believed in Atua. I could never believe in Angie's God. Huh? What? I don't believe in Akido. As long as I have that, I can't be swayed by anything. Aki Akido values mental fortitude, and Akido moves are a reflection of that fortitude. Thanks to Akido, my mental fortitude is too mighty to succumb to Angie's brainwashing. Then... So you just pretended to be brainwashed. Why would you do that? I think I already answered that question. Hey! It's because you're worried about Himiko, aren't you? Hey! Finally being a detective, Suichi. You pretended to be brainwashed to join the student council, right? Um... I think... Himiko has gone so lazy she's given up on thinking for herself. Isn't that her in general being lazy? <laughs> And then also saying everything is magic. <laughs> That's why she's depending on Angie, but I think Angie is dangerous. The student council idolizes Angie so much, they don't see how dangerous she is. That became clear to me after I infiltrated the student council. Angie truly believes in Atua. She believes that she is under Atua's protection. That's why she does whatever she wants. She thinks she's Atua's vessel, so she doesn't feel guilty about anything she does. Hmm. And that's why you want me to kill her. Huh? Well... Asking someone like me for a favor can only mean one thing. Yep. And hopefully we don't do that loophole bullshit where it's like, oh, 
here is um oh, what was her name you know who cared about Fuyuhiko when she said like I am not a person I am the master's tool I'm his weapon and she only did it to protect the young master thinking that oh if they find out that he killed uh Myru, then he would be killed but since she didn't notice that well technically you do count as the killer so if you did that then you inadvertently did help them just on the way you thought <laughs> and then Hopefully it doesn't come to that bullshit where it says like Tenko's the killer because she hired Maki to kill uh, Angie. But then again, it would be just no Maki killed, so technically she goes. Like that's it. But then again, this is definitely a red herring. Has to be because. Maki may be the ultimate assassin, and we are dropping that bomb in this chapter hard that she's the ultimate assassin, but clearly, red herring, no way they're gonna make the ultimate assassin the killer. Like, too obvious. <laughs> um, okay. Yes. I won't deny that. I've wanted her gone even before all this happened. And I think everyone has wanted someone to die at least once in their life. That's fair. That's true. But going through with it is a different thing. It's wrong for a person to commit murder. It doesn't matter what the reason is. Plus, murder is the death penalty. Murder, um... Uh, gets you the death penalty in Japan, so yeah. Do you realize who you're talking to? <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, that's not what I meant. I, I just want to stop Angie. The resurrection ritual is too dangerous to try. If we go along with Monokuma's motive, it could lead to another killing. But, but the student council won't defy Angie, and I can't stop her on my own. Please. That's why I came to ask you to. You're the only ones who can stop Angie. Huh? Only us? Yes. Well, I obviously can't ask Kichi, Mew, or Kyo, and Kaito's not feeling well, you know? So I'm the only man that has to do this. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I was the one that set up the- well, that was technically someone else. That's Kurumi that set up the, uh, whole Hollywood movie star experience, but I was the one to- was forced to do it because I'm a man. <laughs> That's true. Let's see, you didn't have many options. Yeah, and Kokiji! Dickhead. <laughs> and Gunta, yeah, he is still under another brainwashy kind of thing, is thinking Kokichi's his best friend, but he's not. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's that is true. Please. So please help me. You have to convince Angie not to perform the ritual. I'm begging you. Tenko bowed down as deep as she could. Probably at the part where she hid the fucking ground. <laughs> well then, let's go. What? We didn't even answer yet. <sighs> Quit complaining and do this favor for me, you degenerate. There's Tenko. I'm even bowing to you and I would never do that for any male. That's not the best thing you to say to someone you need a favor from. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> you. You're very sincere. I can tell that you are not used to asking others for help. By the way. So what will you do, Suichi? This seems like something you'd ignore. 
Are you thinking at all? No. No, I'll do it. I was just thinking is all. I agree with Tenko that it's dangerous to go along with Monokuma's motive. Then do something about it already! I thought males were supposed to be decisive! Are, are we? Is it true? Sneak attack. I guess I'll forgive you though. Now let's go convince Angie to get her. She should be preparing for the ritual right now in... In the ultimate artist lab. Huh? To get her? I'm going to. Huh. Of course. I wouldn't ask just Suichi for help. No, because I'm a degenerate male, remember? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I just agreed to help, and this is how you treat me? Are we even surprised at this point? This is just the t this is how sh at this point this is how she's nice to men. You'd be lucky she's not suplexing you right now like she did last time. Oh well, I'll just go to Andy's lab. And again, I can't talk back. I did make the dumbass decision to be like, let's go and uh Let's go and freaking uh, what was it? Oh yeah, let's go and look at the girl's locker room and see all the girls taken. <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> like, that's what my curiosity gets to me. I was like thinking, there's no way this game is gonna make me do that right, and it sure as shit did. <laughs> Okay, um, right. So it's in the artist room, right? What the hell? Oh, there's Kokijioma himself. That's like, where? The artist room? Yeah, it's, oh yeah, that's right. It's in the new floor that we went to. Right. Okay, let's go. I don't know how this shit's gonna go down. Oh god, what is this lag? Ah! Well, shit. Oh? Hmm? This is an unusual group of people. Tenko's a student council member, so I get why she's here. Basuichi? Maki? Are you guys even allowed to be here? It's already nighttime. I was just keeping watch for anyone out during nighttime hours, then I caught these two roaming around. Yep, I'm just doing my job as a student council member since I'm the student council. Tenko, if you act that enthusiastic, you come across as suspicious. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. Kokichi, go back to your room and sleep. Oh, I see you take your job very seriously. But you should have lied. What? <laughs> Lie down on the job, that is. <laughs> well, good night. Do you think he could tell? Yeah, he told he could tell when Suichi was lying. But then making the compelling argument of him not lying. It's kind of like my least favorite thing to do in V3 when doing the trials. It's like you gotta lie in order to uh fuck <laughs> You gotta lie in order to um uh, what is it, to, uh, make sure that everyone's okay, but it's like, why? 
Then again, a trial, like with most cases with lawyers, it's always like, hey, get fucked. <laughs> I'm gonna lie to get to to help you. Hi, I'm Saul Goodman. Trans rights. <laughs> like I know. Who knows? It's hard to tell with him. He's always spouting random nonsense. Anyway, let's hurry. Andy's in her lab, right? All right, where is he upstairs at? Not there, so let's go, 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 go. Back it up, hello, is you rock, great, stop the no, 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 let me hear the head swing. And walking on, let me hear you head swing. And it's an on, let me hear your head swing. Oh shit, back it up, hello, is you rock, no, no, let me Back it up, let me hear your head swing. Alright. Time to go in. Alright, it's right here. Just when I reach my hand toward the door. Wait, I'm pretty sure that door is locked. Oh, that's right. It, this one's the locked door, isn't it? Locked? Oh, that's right. Angie did say that she locks the room when she's working. I grabbed the doorknob anyway just to test it. Really? You make that loud noise to let anyone hear you that you're, you're present? It is locked. No shit, Sherlock! Got a minute? <laughs> Move. Maki pushed me inside and began pounding on the door. Hey. Angie, open this door now. Hey. Wait, Maki, you can't do it like that. Stop being a little old miss impatient. Then... then how should I do it? Um... Angie will only open the door if a, when a student council member calls for her. Well, that was already a given. Tanko turned back to the door and gave it a few nervous knocks. Please, Angie, it's Tenko. I want to talk to you about something. Can you open the door? She's not going to do that after frickin' Maki and Suichi just straight up did some loud ass shit. <laughs> oh. oh, Tenko! Yes! Yes, it's me. Then I answered. The door flew open. With us two in the middle of it, I don't think that's a smart idea. Yeah. Can I help you? Huh? Why, is it you and Lucky? Uh, um. Uh, uh, oh. oh! I get it. You both want to join the student council, huh? Then you'll need to get acquainted with Atua. I will introduce you to him. So divine. Please come in. <laughs> no. Uh, no, it's not that. Well, let's go in for now. We can talk inside. Well, well, I suppose. Invited by Angie, we stepped into her lab. But. 
You weren't prepared what we were about to see. What? There's Kaede, Rantaro, Kurumi, and Ryoma. The four dead people. Two victims and two killers. One was unintentional, the other because she really needed to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> hmm. My boy Rantaro. If Rantaro comes back, I would love him to come back. <laughs> I really want to know more about Rantaro. Yoo-hoo! Oh, I made them. Don't they look lifelike? Kinda. Ain't they just divine? Huh? You made them? Uh, yep. Yep. They're my own, they're my very own undercrafted wax effigies. Huh? Wax effigies? Why? Of course, of course. Why? For the resurrection ritual, of course. Uh. Hmm. According to the Necronomicon, we need an energy of a deceased to perform the ritual. Hmm. Just the Necronomicon. <laughs> just <laughs> and I just got done playing the Evil Dead game as well with friends. <laughs> come on, come on! So I went ahead and made these. <laughs> uh... Simple dolls probably would have been better, but once I got to work, the work took possession of me. And before I knew it, I had made these. What do you think? Aren't they amazing? Don't you mean divine? <laughs> you... You do such cruel things so innocently. Well, technically she's doing satanic rituals innocently. I mean, come on, anyone can innocently do satanic rituals. I mean, just the other day, Neon resurrected me back from the dead doing satanic rituals. Probably with the Necronomicon as well, but, you know, that's another story for to, for, to tell. I mean, you can watch the stream, it's still on, to see that satanic ritual happen. And Twitch, these are jokes. It's a video game that we did this, okay? It's not real satanic rituals, Jesus. <sighs> what? But it's incredible. For a second, I thought they were real. Yeah, just like the real thing, but. Oh, God. <laughs> Hi, Kaede. <laughs> and I threw me. <laughs> and I ran Taro. <laughs> and I <hi>, Ryoma. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Jesus. So did that Tua also tell you the cup size these two were rocking? <laughs> and whatever hardware Rantaro's got down there. <laughs> I need to stop myself. I'm stupid. Maki, what do you think about this? Well, you try persuading her first. 
Detectives are good at talking, right? I feel like she might have some misconceptions about detectives. But I know Maki isn't very good at persuading people, so it's up to me. Alright, let's just get over it. I don't think Tenka's gonna say anything interesting. Well, no, I'll talk, let's see. Okay, yeah, I knew that she was gonna say something else. Hey! Angie, could you please reconsider? Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Reconsider. What? Exactly. Remember. The ritual that you're trying to do. Uh, um. I don't think you understand how bad that might be. Yeah, what if they come out as deadites? Oh shit. <laughs> Duncan Rampa crossover with the Evil Dead game. Get the um get skins of your favorite Duncan Rampa characters from V3, where you'll where you'll play as Mui Ruma and Suichi, <laughs> and only Duncan Rampa V3 since they're using the Necronomicon. <laughs> And then there'll be an option in the Evil Dead game where you can change the color of the blood. <laughs> I would honestly buy that DLC in a heartbeat <laughs> if they ever did that. <laughs> Remember that this was Monokuma's motive. If he wants us to do it, it can't be good. Uh, hmm. But the dead can't really come back to life. So the people who died must still be alive. No. No, Angie. That's not possible. The bodies were not fakes. I'm positive. Especially after seeing these wax effigies. <laughs> The effigies were nearly perfect, but the real po bodies still had traces of a soul. A soul desperate to live, struggling, fighting for life. That's something that can never be replicated. No matter what technology you have, can't take a soul. That's true. People who are making those freaking automatons, those robots, they're so far doing perfectly doing that. Which is creepy. I would say that it is possible to do it since. Remember, one character from Danganronpa 2 did come back, but as a robot. But then again, that was all in a simulation, so... Yeah. <laughs> Ryumi, Ryoma, Harumi, and Taro. And Kaede are dead. Okay. I agree. I have no doubt that their deaths were real. Trust me, I've seen my fair share of dead bodies. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. If that's what Maki says, then maybe we really are dead. Woohoo! Then, if we do the ritual, Will we actually resurrect the dead? Hmm. The miraculous mystery. Huh? Huh? This is stupid. What are you saying? Someone who has died can't be resurrected. But, but... Hmm, but that's not what Atua says. He says that if we do the ritual, everyone who has died up till now will come back. 
but you can only choose one. Only one. So, if those four really are dead, then the resurrection trial will surely work. Yeah. That must be right, because our door is never wrong. Um. You're not going to stop this, are you? Of course, of course! <laughs> of course not! This is to us well. Hey. This is your well, not a to us. No. No, it's a to us. Tura mm. told me that our friends will come back to life if we do this ritual. So we have to do it. Cannot defy a direct command from a tua. Punished. Or else. Look at punished. No. Uh, you probably still worry about the motive. Surichi. It's okay. Atua has spoken. Nothing bad will happen as long as you put aside all thoughts of escape. Is that so? Then there's no point talking anymore. Uh, hmm. Are we done talking now? Because I'm still busy preparing for the ritual. Yeah. If you're going to slow me down, I'll turn you into a wax effigy. Hey! Don't go. Let's go back for now. I think we may need another plan. After failing to persuade Angie, we reluctantly left the lab. Yaha! It's already nighttime, so please be careful as you head back to your rooms! Right, right! Oh, and. Uh oh! It's safe to say that Tenko has betrayed the student council, right? Huh? Eh? It's okay. It's okay. I forgive you because I do not forgives you. You're such a softie, you know? Atua! I hope you will recommit yourself to the student council and help us make this place our paradise. Uh, yes. Eh? Eh? What's going on? Oh, shit. Hi. Why are Sirichi and Maki here? They're not on the student council. And it's night time. <laughs> I keep forgetting. While I'm fucking doing this, I gave her Chill's voice. Amy go! It'll be okay. Oh, It's nothing. Oh god. Yumiko's gonna get killed, isn't she? There's no denying it. <laughs> She's gonna be mudded. End up like the Black Dahlia. <laughs> Tinko simply betrayed the student council and brought these two to change my mind. She betrayed us? <laughs> You're telling me about Tinko! <laughs> that sounds like a big problem. But if you're saying it's nothing, then... Angie... You really are loved by Atua. Jeez. And you are loved by Atua in return, Himiko. <laughs> Stop it, you're making me blush. <laughs> already. Enough already! Tenko walked toward Himiko and gripped her firmly by his shoulders. Oh jeez, you were gonna fucking traumatize this kid. Please snap out of it. Aren't you a mage? That hurts. Let me go. Himiko, why can't you see that you are being brainwashed? If you can't even see that, then... You're not a real mage at all. What was that? What's wrong? Feeling angry? If you are, then show it. 
Get mad. Get upset. Yell at me. Just fight back already. Do something. Tenko. Let's just leave it be for now. Huh? I'm sorry. Uh You must be tired, Tenko. I think it would be best if you got some rest. Bye, Yonara. Sound good? Until then, I'll continue my preparations to welcome back a friend. Himiko hmm. didn't look Tenko in the eyes. After leaving Angie's lab, the three of us returned to the dorms. Sorry about that, Tenko. Um... Tenko... Are you okay? Ah! I said all those horrible things to Yumiko and now I... don't know what to do. I know she never hate me. But she'll demote me from best friend to just... A friend? I doubt she saw you as a best friend. Second, more than just a f more than just friend. No, no. Acquaintance. That's worse because acquaintance is more like you know them, they tolerate you, but they would rather not be your friend and they don't want to fucking hang out with you. So that's worse than being to mode to just friend, so I doubt being I doubt she will consider you any type of form as a friend. Huh? You guys were best friends? Exactly my point. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well if you round up the nearest whole number, we were basically best friends. No! Not at all! I feel like you're running up a little too much there. Well... Well... If you apologize, I'm sure she'll understand. Right! That's right. You'd be like an old married couple once we overcome this rough patch. Please stop comparing your friendship to any type of committed relationships. Please stop that. <laughs> it's weird. That was a quick turnaround. Yeah, it was. Hmm. You should let Suichi teach you how to apologize. He's really good at it. Damn. Did it really sound that pathetic? No. Really? That's the first time I've heard that. Yeah. Same here. Piece of cake. Don't worry, I will use my own words to apologize to Himiko. I will suplex her with the power of Akido to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> well then, see you tomorrow. Good night. Waving happily, Tenko returned to her room. She bounced back rather fast. I guess I didn't need to worry. Well... Again, Tenko, in... Well, her words, she has the power of Akido to rebound her back. So, you know, that's her. Oh. You were worried? What? 
Is it weird for me to worry? No, given that you pretended to be the child caregiver... I'm trying to figure out if you actually do care about children during your assassin work, but maybe I'll learn that when I hang out with you more in chapter 4, since I don't think I'm gonna get more friendship free time on this chapter anymore. And if I do, maybe I'll try talking to Kaito, or I'll talk to Kibo, then you. Kibo, then you. Because I kinda am curious to learn more about you. Do you wanna die? There's your habit. Huh? There's... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, I suppose on the positive side, she's able to act more like herself around me. Well... What about the ritual? Have you given up on persuading Angie? Of course not. But given how these games work... That ritual will commence. There's either two ways this is going to happen. Someone's going to murder her to stop the ritual from ever happening. Or the ritual will commence and go through with it. And that's it. But since I'm going to deduct some detective skills on this. And maybe they already said it. Maybe the game already said it. I don't know if they said it already, or maybe I am already guessing how it's going to play out. Here's what I think is going to happen. A murder will happen, but the murder is going to be a sacrifice. And a sacrifice is probably what's going to happen in order to complete this ritual. Because... To bring a life back? Think about it. A life for a life. You know? A life for a life. As in, we have to kill someone in order to bring back one person. So, you kill off one person just to bring back the one that you care about or bring back someone that you want. And that's the motive. Think about it. It could happen. It might happen. That's how I determine it. The wax effigies. Think about it. A soul for a soul. That's how basically these evil satanic rituals work, you know? And that's what I'm judging by this. No. I don't want to give up, but changing your mind might require less orthodox methods. Maybe try to grab her and say, Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> but I'm thinking that's not an option. <laughs> Stop it, Timmy! <laughs> I need to think of another way. Mm. Less orthodox methods. Got it. I'll think about it. Let's hope it's not murder, Maki, because... I'm trying to get to know you and hopefully get to talk to you. But again, red herring. Unless that red herring really is the herring that we were supposed to capture. And is actually the true thing. Oh god. Hmm. So Maki's going to think about it too. Didn't expect that. I'm glad. Especially now that I'm able to talk about things more with Maki. I don't know a lot about this place, but I don't know a lot about anyone either. That could be a good thing. Or it could be a bad thing.
In a past life, I was a fish. I grew up in a pond in a rural town, but I always dreamed of the city. One day, while my parents were feeding, I ran off to the city. Luckily, I was caught by a rich person who let me attend human school. But the other kids bullied me. They bullied me for silly reasons. Because of my odor and because of how I would flop around on my desk. Because of the way my mouth opened and closed as if I was dying. The trauma of my past life haunts me to this day. That's why I can never forgive bullying. I swear on my past life that I will get along with everyone. And if anyone thinks otherwise, I won't fucking murder them. <laughs> Hi. We've been at this for days, man. <laughs> Jesus, he is depressed. <laughs> Maki. Has to be Maki. Yep! Called it! Well... What's with that face? You look like you just woke up. Huh? Hey... I did just woke up. The announcement was just a minute ago. You... You wake up? that? If you rely on me in, on that announcement as your alarm clock, you'll start getting used to this place. Uh, okay. Well, I suppose that's true. Hey! It's fine. Let's just go stop the ritual. Huh? Kaido! And you're motivated! Let's go! Okay. I've heard from Maki Roll. Maki Roll? Sorry, what? It seems like Andrew's gonna do the ritual. Maki roll? Don't give me such a weird nickname. Uh. You brought Kaito here, Maki? Why? Is that weird? We need a backup plan in case the straightforward approach fails. Ah, so you're trying to learn the Kaito method. I get ya. <laughs> I see what you're putting down. Who better than Kaito for a less than straightforward approach? But but Kaito, are you feeling okay? <laughs> you don't have time to be worrying about me. You're gonna put a stump to this ridiculous resurrection, resurrecting the dead crap. Okay. And then we can finally drop that topic, or else I'm not gonna last. I'm not gonna last. Kaito, are you um scared? Huh? No. It's just that. I remember that you don't like talking about ghosts and stuff. Because? Then I think about it. You've been acting strange ever since... We started talking about resurrecting the dead. Oh no. Is Kaito gonna be the killer? Oh no. Please don't. Don't be stupid, there's no way! Uh, um, oh, so I was right. Got a minute? Wait, you mean the reason you didn't come to train is because you were scared? So... Not that I'm scared, that's just how my body is. I'm playing with it comes to cramped area, space, and zero gravity, but ghost stories? Wait, you didn't... 
You got you felt bad because you had a phobia? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Since I was a kid, whenever I hear them, I start to feel sick. Acto was looking more and more pale as he spoke. He's kind of adorable when you think about it. <laughs> Damn it. That. I haven't been able to eat or sleep since this crap started. So that's what happened. Okay. Well, let's hurry and stop Andrew so we can put an end to all this spooky stuff. Things getting any scarier, I'll seriously die from a heart attack. Why are you looking at me like that? Unbelievable. You always act like you're not afraid of anything, but when it comes to Goost, it's a different story entirely. <laughs> Let's just go stop Angie already. Come on, bro. Come on, Maki. <laughs> Call her that. Hurry up. Seriously, don't call me Mocky Roll. Anyway, let's go to Angie's lab. Let us go. Oh, wow, you can already outside. Damn it. Heart attack. Oh hey! Didn't expect to see you here. But is anyone else out here? Only Tenko and you. Good morning, Kyo. Yes. Ah, good morning. Oh, well if it isn't Kaito, are you feeling better already? Yeah, I have some now. Sorry though, we don't have much time to talk right now. Well, don't push yourself. Things feel amiss without your boisterous voice. Okay. Yeah, sure. My bad for making you worry. Right. Yes, and all because you were scared. Hmm? Did you say something? Shut up! It's nothing! Right, Maki Roll? Jesus Christ, stop calling me that! <laughs> and Tenko, what's up to you? Oh god. What was that? Um, okay. Good morning, Tenko. Good morning, Maki. Okay. Good morning. Come on, man. Hey, are you non Huh? It's proper manners to be girls before degenerate males. Bitch. <laughs> More importantly, have you guys seen Himiko? Oh no. Was she moitered? Well, that eliminates Tenko, that eliminates Kaito. I don't know, maybe Tenko could be a bit of a subject, but who knows. Let's put a pin on her, but Kaito, mm, definitely not. No. I haven't seen her. She's not in the dorms? Um, I guess not. I didn't get an answer after I knocked on her door, so she must have gone out. Anyway, I'll go look for her. If you see her, please let me know. Okay. Okay, so there to that goes to that point. School building time, boys. Anyone here? Nope. Okay, no one's here. Yeah, no one is in this area. Okay. That means we can just go upstairs. Unless there's other hidden Monokumas, which I haven't been looking for lately. Probably should, but I haven't. I think I've been finding more hidden Monokumas in this game more than the last game. 
I don't think Trigger Happy had hidden Monokumas, did it? I don't know. That's just the doorknob. Shit, back it up now. Let me see you rock. Wait, Bob, don't let go now. Let me hear your head swing. <laughs> so I thought that was the silver gun in this song, but the actual one was like, <laughs> Good boy, big noise, and then the cheek, and then the You got mud on your face, you big disgrace. Living your head all over your face. We will, we will rock you. Hey, you're alive. We will, we will rock you. Hmm? You guys again. Why? Nico, why are you here? Suichi. Suichi. Boy, you're a fucking detective! What a pain. I wouldn't do something like that. It sounds like a pain. I just came to check on Angie. You. So what do you guys want? Don't tell me you came to stop Angie again. Okay. Yeah. Because the ritual is Monokuma's motive. We shouldn't just let it happen. Okay. That exact, that's exactly right. It's not because I'm scared or anything, okay? <clears throat> Bullshit. Sure, whatever. But it's good that you're here. She won't open the, this door for anyone but members of the student council, then... right? So tell Angie to open it for us. Uh, that's not possible. Uh... Not possible. I wanted to ask her how the ritual went, so I've been calling to her. But she must really be into her work. She won't come out. What? Won't come out? Are you sure she's in there? She should be inside. Both this door and the back one are locked. Oh fuck, she's dead. Oh, she dead, dead. She dead dead. No, she dead dead. I grab the knob and try to turn it. It really is locked. But these doors are only locked from the inside. Which means there's definitely someone in there dead. Hey. Any response? No. Actually, no. Maybe she's sleeping. <laughs> No answer? Kimiko, we need to get inside right now. Why? But you know, even if we want to check, it's locked so we can't do I see. I heard everything, and I'm just as shocked as you are about what the tabloids are reporting. What? You obviously didn't hear anything at all. Where did you come from? Nobody told me that now. 
Now would be a good time to bust out my trick. Kokichi's trick? The lock picking. Lock picking? Hey. During the insect meet and greet, Kokichi was able to get into our rooms by lock picking. Can you use your lock picking skills to get this lab door open? <laughs> it's like me when I go to Kate in Fallout 4, where it's like, think you can pick this? Yes. Ah, biv ah, child's play or something she says. Mm -hmm. You want me to pick open this door, huh? Hmm. Let me see. Kikuji bent over and peeked into the keyhole of the doorknob. Oh, it's a cylinder lock. Now this type of lock is perfect for lock picking. Um. Yes, please, Kokichi, open the lock. Ew. It's rude to pick a lock without permission. <laughs> Now's not the time for that. Something might have happened to Angie. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Kokichi, hurry up and open the door. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Here we go. I'm only doing this because these three are threatening me. Kikuchi pulled out some thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. Clickety, 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 click, click, click. Clack! See? There! Open! Says me. Huh? That simple? <laughs> oh, not to brag, but I am the ultimate supreme leader, you know? Well. Lock picking seems more suited to petty thieves. You got me! Ah! Deep Maki. Anyway, <laughs> all right. Let's get inside and worry about Angie. Yeah, you're right. All right, time to see. Deaf. Deaf. What the fuck? <laughs> Is he gonna say it? No, those three are. This is an official announcement. A body has been discovered. Everyone, please assemble at the ultimate art lab. <laughs> that doesn't look like vomit. It looks like she shit. Ah. She puked again, and it's green this time. Ew. I don't know, that looks like shit more than puke. One of these green puke is said to be an omen for bad luck and disaster. What on earth is about to happen? Okay. She killed herself. There's no... Let's... Not dance around on this. No one could get in, right? No one... It was locked. The doors were locked, right? So... Killed herself. Just like Sakura from... The first game. Has to be. It's either that or someone else killed her. And somehow lock the door from the outside. I don't know. <sighs> so that Atua may guide her soul to the gates of heaven. Yeah. Atua, please take care of Angie. It, it can't be. Why did it end up like this? Didn't Angie have Atua with her? You don't know? Yeah, Atua's the killer. <laughs> Clearly she didn't. It's not true. Angie see Atua will always be by our side. We don't have time to be talking about this. 
instead of talking about Tua. Yeah, we gotta talk about which one of us is the culprit and win the killing game. Really? Wait, this is part of the killing game? That's right. What else could it be? Mew, why did you say it like that? Don't tell me you're the killer, Mew. One of us killed her. No way! But why would someone do such awful thing? What? Is that really what happened? Huh? Huh? Could it be? It's possible the culprit who killed Angie wasn't one of us, but. Oh, Jesus. The vomit soaked entrance, how novel, and the puke is green again, too. That's a pretty ominous sign. I did another murder happen. What's the deal, Mona Dam? I thought you were going to make everyone get along. Don't worry, overcoming this will bring everyone closer together. That has been the case so far, yes. Their bond gets stronger with each class trial, does it not? Murders are necessary to bring everyone closer together. But how? So, then, so let's get started. We are all Conduct a friendly investigation. Then we will have a friendly class trial. We must distribute these first. Oh, look, the Monokuma file. I don't want to be the one to pass it out. Did you want to do it too, Monofine? I don't think she wants to. By the way, I've been thinking, you guys should knock off all this killing and dying. Dying is like, so lame. Living is all the rage these days. Bruh. <laughs> Jesus. Mark me puke, this is really unlucky. It's a long farewell. Ah, uh, as there is no use complaining, we are better off beginning our investigation. It would seem like that. So, everyone, we all know what we need to do, yes? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yep, I mean, by the third murder, we should all be pretty used to dead bodies. Jesus Christ, man. Not going to, no, we're going to ever get used to this. Nope. Trust me, we don't want to be used to this. No one should get used to this. <laughs> That's nice and all, but it seems pretty insincere coming from an assassin. Unfortunately. Let's start investigating. It's not like we have any other choice. You're right. That's true. Oh, it's strange. This is a bizarre setup. More wax figures. Effigies of the dead. Hung upside down in the room. And in the middle, Andrew's body in a pool of blood. Well, it has to be part of the ritual. We just gotta read the Necronomicon and see if it was. There certainly appears to be some kind of ritual. Alright bro, I'm killing you as my sidekick. Let's end this nightmare together. Uh, okay. Yeah, but are you feeling okay, Kaito? Okay. You seriously don't have time to be talking about this. No way we're gonna die here. I'm definitely gonna find the culprit. The culprit is 
Is it really someone among us that killed Angie? Or oh, she killed herself? That's a possibility. I get how you feel, Sumugi, but do you have to repeat that tired old line every time? Oh no, that's not it. I mean, could this have been the work of the transfer student? Huh? Angie prepared the ritual in this room to resurrect the dead, right? Did she meet those wax dolls hanging upside down as part of the ritual? Maybe the ritual succeeded and the resurrected person killed her. Well, none of them are alive, are they? All the wax effigies are still here. Rantaro, Kaede, Kurumi, Ryoma. I mean, one is stabbed. Hey! Shut up already! What? It's her fault. Telling these girls I have no more like that. Saying messed up stuff like that. Uh, Kaito, um, are you alright? Damn. Sure. Sorry, Suichi. I need to get some air. I'll leave this to you, Mimaki. Do a good job, you guys. Kaito left, still a bit wobbly. <sighs> Do a good job. That coward has a lot of nerve bossing us around. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the best way to phrase it, but he just wants to encourage. Jeez. You're clearly still right in, into your psychic role. It's okay. I don't need him to give me orders. So if you pull up a left, people, ugh, I can't afford to sit out anymore. Well. So, where should we start? We should check the Monokuma file first, right? You're right. Yeah. Let's take a look. The victim is Angie Yonaga, the ultimate artist the body was found in the ultimate artist's lab the time of death is approximately two in the morning the cause of death is a stab wound to the back of the neck the forehead was also had a laceration okay Stabbed in the neck. Okay. One cover fell three has been added to the two poses. Hmm. My cover fell include the time of death this time. Hmm. 2 a.m. Everyone must have been asleep. We probably can't rely on witness testimonies. But so the murder happened at nighttime after all. Despite Angie saying it was better to, to have everyone, man. If everyone had to follow the student council's rules like Angie and Atua said. <laughs> what good will saying that do? The culprit may be one of the student council. Yes? Why? A member of the student council. That's... All right! We should go figure that out. Let's start investigating and solve this mystery together. Himiko. Or Tenko. Can't be Kibo. Kibo, too much of an innocent boy. But Himiko and Tenko sound like dead ringers. 
Tinko not liking Angie because she doesn't believe in Artua. Himiko could have been pushed to doing it as well. Hmm. It could be those two. Or they are part of the red herring as well, just like others. Could be anything. Himiko? I can't do it. I can't investigate Angie's body. But if we don't make it through the class trial, then everyone will die. Whatever. I don't care anymore. <gasps> what? Surviving and everything else, it's too much of a pain. What was that? Then why don't we just use your magic to revive Angie? Because she's not a mage. Please stop! This is no time for your mean spirited taunts. Reviving her is clearly impossible. Is that so? We can't say that with certainty, no? Huh? Excuse me? No. Well, of course. Resurrecting her is impossible. But I know a way we can speak with Angie. You see? We can summon her spirit with a thing that's called the Caged Child. Seance? What are you trying to pull? Seance. What are you talking about? Cut it out already. Cut it, cut it. Yeah, this is no time for jokes. I am serious. Oh, I'm serious. This is for our investigation. Huh? For our investigation? Yes. If we speak with Angie. We can ask her for who the culprit is and bring this case to a swift close. Well, you know. First, a resurrection ritual. And now a seance. Are you messing with us? Do you understand? <laughs> I would appreciate it if you didn't compare it to Monokuma's foolishness. Seances are genuine occurrences. They are written of an ill of an ill of, of in literature the world over. In fact, I myself have participated in seances a great many times. Many? On top of that, we have here a rare chance to on the legendary seance, the cage child. It would be foolish to not take advantage of this guest. No. No matter how you put it, now's not the time for some power. Oh, I suspect the only way to confirm your earlier theory is by performing the seance. Yes. What? My earlier theory? Therefore, the possibility of the culprit being. Transfer student. It is not wise to go into the class trial with such outlandish theories in one's head. So to prove such a thing impossible, I think it's best we consult Angie herself. Incomprehensible. That logic is peculiar to say the least. Um holding a seance to find out about the ritual. So we're gonna fight the occult with the occult. 
Okay. Well, we can't worry about this forever, so we might as well get the, the, the easy solution. How exciting! Okay, I'll help out. I was getting bored of investigating anyway. Huh? Hmm. I'll help too. Huh? Always the occult with these bitches. I... See if I can talk to Angie one more time, I'll do anything. You see, those were true bad friends then. Really, she is not gonna shoot that tango. If the answer would ever take, I'll do it. Well, I'll help out as well. I can't leave you come alone. Do whatever you want. Yes. Okay, I will. So then, so now we have four participants: Kokichi, Himiko, Tenko, and myself. I oh, had the cage job requires five people. We're still one short. Hmm. Fine, then Keyboy can come too. You're right. I guess we can't be picky. Why am I being forced to participate and be treated like a burden? Well then. Well then, we need a place to perform the seance. Where shall we do it? How about your lab? No. No, in order for the key to shut and succeed, the room must be as dark as possible. My lab has windows, so turning the lights off will make it quite dark enough. Then, then how about the empty rooms? Actually, you're right. That's... Yeah. Listen up. Tell me your thoughts. Then I see, yes. Uh um do you understand? Well, we're gonna end the stream here. I know it's a short Don Gun Romper stream. Usually I do investigations after this kind of thing happens, but uh, 
I'm pressed for time, and I can't do this. We will probably do it tonight. Maybe. I don't know. It depends on how the schedule goes. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like this, that's cool. If you didn't, I'm sorry. I disappointed you. But I will continue to run up with you through hopefully tomorrow. Or maybe sometime uh, this week. Hopefully. Because uh, the investigation. Hopefully I can do it as early as possible, and if not, yikes, so much I do. Maybe around 5 o'clock, who knows. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao guys, remember, your love.